What's up, guys? Justin here, bringing you another poorly reviewed beer. Uh, last two reviews here before the break for Christmas. I'm going to do a couple of South Carolina-based pale ales. Starting off with today from River Rap Brewery right here in Columbia, South Carolina. This is Metal Man Pale Ale. Uh, in a bottle. Probably one of the last production runs to be in a bottle is a... Uh, Got some new production equipment and have made this transition to almost all cans, if not all cans now, for all their beers. Uh, notes from the brewery. This hop forward pale ale serves up a hearty amount, hearty amount of earthy and herbal hop character with just a hint of citrus. We're dedicating this brew to the metal fabricators of Cola Town. Take the edge off of your fiery, fiery thirst and forge an unbreakable bond with this full bodied beer. Check it out. Couple fingers ahead. Nice, pretty orange color. Somewhat hazy. As I hold it up to the light, it's uh, retains the orange, maybe just uh, kind of more going into a yellow gold highlight, but still plenty of orange <coughs> with the. Uh, Amount of material it maintains that orange color throughout uh, throughout the center, and I can kind of uh, still see my fingers on the opposite side of the glass. So, uh, uh, but there's a little bit of uh, haze and blockage in the in the beer. Let's uh, try it out. Uh, getting plenty of riffiness. I uh, kind of disagree with the description of hop forward. But uh, a lot of earthiness. I feel like I'm getting a, a chocolate note as well. Uh, kind of early to midway through the drinking experience. I don't know if I'm kind of interpreting a uh, an herb that way or the earthiness that way but uh that's slightly slightly unusual plenty of herbaceousness I feel like I'm getting maybe a little bit of a, a basil note in there. Yeah, plenty of herbs, though I'm, I'm struggling to be able to discern what exactly each one is. Uh, definitely, again, definitely getting a, a basil note, but uh, relatively full body. Uh, the, there's a little bit of a, a hot bitterness note. It's, it's not really a bite. It's not. It's not strong or biting by any means, but in the back half, there's a little bit of that hop presence. But again, I would uh, not at all call this hop forward, in my opinion. A little bit of a, a, a malt sweetness, I guess, coming from what I'm interpreting as chocolate, but... Uh, it's a decent little beer taste-wise, but uh, it's certainly not at all what I was expecting out of a, a pale ale. <clears throat> Seems much more much more malt forward and not much not much hop presence to it at all. Um, but not displeasing flavor notes. Um, maybe a little bit of a, like a soap. Kind of a thing. I think uh, I think a cilantro that uh, some people kind of get a a soap interpretation. I don't normally, but maybe for this, I'm getting a little bit of that. But um, plenty of herbs, plenty of earthy, a little bit of a, a hot presence, and um, 
that presence does kind of linger through into the aftertaste, but again, I would not call this, I would almost call this more malt forward than uh, hop forward, but uh, that is uh, the, the River, River Rat Metal Man Pale Ale. And that's it for this edition of Poorly Reviewed Beer. You can find all my reviews, both video and written, along with news commentary and more at poorlyreviewedbeer.com. Also find me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Untapped. You can find links and usernames to all those in the description, description below. And if you are so inclined, please like this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you around at Poorly Reviewed Beer.